Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to share with you a Thanksgiving classic that I've gotten asked about for years here, which are candied yams. Now, I will be the first to say that candied yams, for me anyway, it's something I only eat at the Thanksgiving table, and it's not something I actually make often for Thanksgiving, simply because they are very sweet, and I always seem to have leftovers that get eaten, and it's just like too much, you know, too much indulgence. But um, I wanted to share the recipe with you because it's been so highly requested over the years, and they really are fantastic. It's so easy, perfect. I don't know what it is. Like, on their own, they're great. Alongside gravy and turkey and stuffing, it's like a marriage made in food heaven. I don't get it. It's like a combination that you just can't beat. So I want to share them with you. Let's run through the ingredients really quickly. You'll need granulated sugar, brown sugar, small pinch of pumpkin pie spice, lots of butter. These are some roughly chopped pecans. You need some sweet potatoes and some salt. And that is it. It's really a basic recipe, but so good. The first thing you want to do is, of course, peel your sweet potatoes. It is important that you don't cut them too thin. So as you can see, these are probably about an inch and a half thick. You want to make sure they're not too thin, otherwise they are going to fall apart. And you want to try your best to get them all about as even as possible in thickness. Now that you have those ready, what I have here is a pot with some water, not to a boil yet. Add in a generous pinch of salt. It's really important that you salt the water. Otherwise, if your sweet potatoes aren't salted, what happens is there's just really one note of sweetness and you don't really taste the sweet potatoes because salt is a flavor enhancer. So it's just going to make everything taste better. And it's also important that you don't boil potatoes. You start them in cold water, not in hot water. Otherwise, they're going to cook unevenly. So by adding them to cold water, these are just little skins of the potatoes that are stuck on there by adding them to cold water and cooking them all together and bringing the water up to temperature together allows the potatoes for, to be cooked from the inside out. All I'm going to do is over high heat bring this to a boil. Once it's to a boil I'm going to reduce the heat a bit just to let them simmer for exactly 10 minutes and then I'm going to drain them and put them back into the same pot and when we're there I will show you the next step. Oh, get your oven preheated to 352. So once you drain them, remember you want to simmer them for 10 minutes once the water comes to a boil and once you drain them, put them back into the same pot and then just go ahead and add your butter and both kinds of sugar along with a small pinch of pumpkin pie spice. You won't really taste the pumpkin pie spice, like it won't taste like a pumpkin pie, but I think that that little tiny bit makes a really big difference. And all I'm going to do, let me just grab my little hand towel, bring it that's closer to me. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of cook these together until I can see that the butter has started to melt and kind of made the sugar melt a little bit as well. It makes it like a little bit like a sauce. It only takes like two minutes, so don't walk away from it because you don't want anything to burn, particularly the sugar. It's already getting there really, really quickly. Just keep an eye on it for the next couple of seconds and it'll be where, where we want it. Looks good. And you just put this in your casserole dish like that. And we'll spread things out. Just make sure you get every little bit of goodness out of there. And then what I like to do is just take my time and try to get things to be in one layer if I can manage. That looks good. And then at this point, you want to put some aluminum foil and you're going to pop these into the oven. Remember, your oven is preheated at 350 at this point. You're going to pop these into the oven at 350, covered for 10 minutes. Then you're going to remove the foil, sprinkle on your pecans, and leave them in there for an additional 30 minutes. I'm going to show you what they look like when they're completely done, and that is it. Those are your candied yams. You can use yams, sweet potatoes, whatever. They're kind of the same thing anyway. So I'm just going to pop these in. I'll show you what they look like when they're done. These went in the oven covered for 10 minutes and I took the foil off and I sprinkled on my pecans and I let them stay in there for an additional 30 minutes and they are perfect, they are tender. And then you just take the sauce, right? The candy, sweet, like buttery sauce, you spoon that over the top and then when you serve it to the table, I would just, I would serve them right in the casserole dish. Just make sure that you spoon some of the sauce on top 
because I don't like to flip them. I like to just leave them like this as they bake, but then when they come out, you kind of just baste them with the sauce. They're perfect. They're tender, but that yet they still keep their shape, which is important because these are not mashed sweet potatoes, you know? It's going to be really hot. I'm going to just do a smaller piece because I don't want to burn the roof of my mouth because I've already done that once today. Yep, yeah, bet you needed to know that. Oh, I need a piece of pecan. Can you please? Mmm. It's so lovely and crunchy from the pecans. Believe it or not, it's sweet, but it's not like overpowering sweet, which means you can still taste the sweet potato. You're really awesome. Go to Laura in the kitchen and get the recipe. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. These will be a great addition to your holiday table. The recipe is waiting for you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.